Hey folks, Ariel over here, where today I want to introduce you to some of our neighbors. We li do live in ranching country, as most of Wyoming is, and while these beef cows spend almost their entire summers way up high in the mountains, uh, this is the time of year when they get brought down to the low areas where it's easy to get hay to them to feed them for the winter. So we get to see things like cattle drives go right down the road in front of our house or... Uh, you know, if you're on the roads in different places, you may end up driving through them or waiting on them. This is how life is done here. And it uh, it crossed my mind. Somebody had asked back when we put up our fence, you know, what made you all so antisocial or something? It occurred to me that a lot of people are not familiar with uh, fence-out states. Much of Wyoming is a fence-out state. That means the stock, like cows, go where they want. If you don't want them there, you put up a fence. So most people's yards and houses and areas like that are fenced because these guys are about as feral as bison, elk, and deer. They spend the majority of their year out wild in the mountains and then uh, get herded down to the lowlands where they can be fed for the um, winter. So anyway, it's fun to see some cowboys riding a herd of cows down the road past our house and getting to see the you know cows starting to show up in all the fields you can see from our house and uh, you know they're gonna be there for the winter so that's just a little taste of some life in ranching country in Wyoming here at Finest. Thank you so much for watching these videos and spending some of your very valuable time choosing to do that. We hope you found something that was useful, educational, helpful, maybe save someone else some time and trouble. 
or just something just plain beautiful. If you don't want to miss any videos, subscribe and hit the bell. And thanks for coming along on our journey as we build a new little homestead with our tiny house and everything to come.